Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video for you, our school community. A great celebration today of our Year 6 performance and it was an amazing, amazing performance from Year 6. Well done to all of our children. And um, it reminds us in this video, including we're closed obviously for voting day next Thursday, but we're back open on Friday with a very special day celebrating all things Euros 2024. Um, hopefully you've had your slip today to let you know um, who your child's new teacher is for next year um, and lots of bits of other information in this video for you. Have a lovely weekend. See you all next week. Take care. Bye bye. Today we saw our Year 6 Leavers performance. Uh, I'm a Renner, get me out of here. And my goodness, wasn't it a spectacular show? Full of humour, drama, surprises, and you, of course your wonderful children. They did you proud. We are so very proud of them. Um, and what a special way to remember this year's Class of 2024. Head over to the website very soon where you can see uh, photographs um, and also um, links to the performance. Uh, thank you for everybody that came and supported us and I'm sure you, like me you had a great afternoon full of entertainment. On the 4th of July, school will be closed to all children. This is because, as you will know, um, a general election has been called and Wren's Nest is being used as the local polling station for the area. Um, so just a reminder, school will be closed to all children on the 4th of July. On Friday the 5th of July, we are celebrating all things Euros 24. Um, as you know, uh, the Euros are being held and it's a, it's a, an important event for lots of people. Um, and we're celebrating it here at Wren's Nest. As you can see, children can come in um, something red, white or blue. Can be a t-shirt, can be a headband. Please don't go out and spend any money. You don't need to. Um, but it is to celebrate uh, the Euros happening. And as you can see from this slide, we have a special menu football themed for a special day in school as we approach the academic the end of the academic year this year we look forward to the next one um, on friday the 28th of june your child will come home with a slip that looks just like this one um, this is information for you as a family to let you know who your child's class teacher is um, who will that will be working with them in the classroom and support staff um, and just some plans so you can talk to your child about who their teacher will be next year if you do have any questions about this as always pop in and see one of us um, but this will help in the transition process as your child enters their next school year Here's just a reminder of the key celebrations for our wonderful Year 6, Class of 2024, obviously the beach party and also the formal leaver service. Year 6, your special celebration for your end of year beach party is on Monday the 15th of July. It's a really nice evening where we share and make memories together. Um, this evening is from 5 till 7pm. We've got surprise entertainment, street food as well as prizes throughout the evening including one for the very very best dressed beach ready outfit i wonder what we'll see this year we look forward to hosting it for you and it will be a really nice celebration of your final year here at wren's nest Tickets for our formal leavers service, the leavers presentation, uh, will be coming home to you as families on the 5th of July. The leavers presentation is a really quite mature celebration of your children here at, at Wren's Nest, the time they've been with us, who they are now as individuals and all that we are proud of them for and what they've achieved here. It is a really special time for you as families to share in it, um, so I do hope you can join us. It's year six last ever event here at Wren's Nest. Um, so tickets for this will be coming home to you on the 5th of July. Now for some important information about our transition programme here at Wren's Nest for 2024. Friday the 12th of July is the last day in current classes for your children. This is due to our transition period starting from the following Monday the 15th of July. The reason we have um, our transition programme is that we recognise the fact that change can bring about worries and any anxieties. 
What our transition period helps to do is ease any of those worries and anxieties. Your child gets to meet their teacher, they get to see where their classroom is, they get to know where their tray is, they get to know where their pegs are. All of those little bits of information help your child to just relax to know what the changes will be in the September they return to school after the long summer holiday. Um, we've run our transition programme for a number of years and we do really think it helps our children. And also you as adults, as you can get to meet the teachers and the staff that will be working with your children in their new year group. So transition starts on Monday the 15th of July. On the morning of the 15th of July, the children will need to go to their current year group. So say if they're in year four now, they'll go to the, their year four class. Um, and then at home time, they will need to be collected from their new classes. But don't worry, there'll be lots of staff on hand to be able to help you and point you in the right direction. Our new year six children, so our children moving from year five to year six, will leave by the main reception door where the reception desk is. And our new year five children will leave via our early birds door. For new years one to four, staff will be on hand to show you where to go. Um, our year seven children will leave via the door that they do currently. Um, so for, if you've got any children that are obviously leaving us this year, they will go to um, the door they normally leave. So just a reminder, the last day of the summer term this year um, and at the end of our academic year is Friday the 19th of July and the new academic year begins on Tuesday the 3rd of September. I can't believe I'm saying that and another year has passed by. It is a really um, important week for your children um, and we'll be around to help and remind people where to go um, and what to do. So please don't let that be a worry for you. We do think the transition period is a really key part of our school programme. But as always, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. At the end of this academic year, we say a very sad goodbye to Mrs Greybanks. Mrs Greybanks has been with us um, in our early years provision. She is a reception teacher. She's going on to new adventures um, at a school closer to her home. So we wish her all the very best and say a huge thank you for everything she's done here for us and the children at Wren's Nest. As we say our goodbyes, we all say, also say hello to some new members of the team. We welcome two uh, teachers to the team here at Wren's Nest. Mrs Elwes will be working within our Key Stage 1 provision and Miss Williams uh, will be working within our Early Years provision. I'm sure you will welcome these and give them a very warm welcome to Wren's Nest and just show them what a special place it is. Here's just a little reminder of how you can contact us. The school office is open um, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. every weekday. Um, you might catch somebody before those times or after those times, but those are the, the times we are definitely open and the office is manned at those times. And of course, the school mobiles. Um, and just a reminder, really, of the school times. You can see them here. Um, just so you know, Breakfast Club is available to you. And there's a slide about that further on in the video this week again but just so you know um gates open at 8 40 um but registration starts at 10 to 9 and school lessons um start at nine o'clock when re registration begins also but early start act activities are linked to the curriculum and a valuable part of your child's learning Promoting good attendance is a key priority for us here at Wren's Nest. As we know, there is a direct link between good attendance and positive outcomes for a child at the end of their educational journey. As you know, we focus on capturing children being in school and we follow up when they aren't. This year, the governors and I have updated our attendance policy and in particular have made reference to any holidays you may take. Take a look in the policy. It is available online. We are asking that holidays are taken in um, holiday time that is planned for the school holidays and for any reason um any day holiday that you do take um it, it's tagged on to a school holiday um so the bulk of the holiday period is within a planned holiday um attendance needs to be good for the remainder of the time your child is at school um if you choose to do this this way it is something we are going to pay particular attention to this year and it's something that we're particularly focused on
Um, take a look at the policy and of course if you've got any questions don't hesitate to contact me or Tracy Cadman our attendance officer in school. We often say to the children that attendance is a, a life skill one that we carry right the way through our lives as we move from school into college, um, universities, jobs, future lives, appointments, anything that we carry out as an adult. Regular attendance for children means they make the most of their education in improving their life chances in adult life and that's something that we feel is vital that we share with our children. That becomes an ingrained life skill for them. Here are the people who help and promote great attendance. If you ever do need any help or support, we are here to help. Um, sometimes we, we all need a little bit of help in the right direction on occasion. So please, if there's something that you can, we could help with and you feel we could help with, please contact one of us because it might just be by us helping, we can together, work together to improve your child's attendance. Don't forget, Breakfast Club is open to you. You are welcome. It's free of charge um, and it's a lovely way for your children to start their school day. 8.20 to 8.40 at our early birds breakfast door. Um, you're welcome to come in. Your children can play with their friends and have a great start to their school day. Keeping children safe, as you know, is our priority here at Wren's Nest. And this was also recognised during our Ofsted inspection in March 22, when it was commented on, the school is relentless in keeping children safe. We teach your children the importance of having trusted adults in our lives um, at home and at school. And we talk to them about who those people are in school. Um, our designated safeguarding ladies, Mrs Smith, um, Mrs Hannah Smith. Um, and then we've got deputy uh, designated safeguarding lead, which is myself, um, Miss Harris, Mrs Cadman. Mrs Vivash and also Mrs Smith too. Um, but every adult at this school is a trusted adult um, that a child can go to should they need somebody to talk to, need any help um, and they're there for them. Um, if you've got any questions about this, you know what I'm going to say. Please come and see us and have a chat with us about it. But this is part of us teaching your children how we stay safe, both in school and in the wider world. Remember, you can still send your class teacher an email with work you've done at home or any questions about your learning that you may have. Here are the email addresses for each of the year groups. Um, just another way you can communicate with us if you need to. As always, it's important to stay connected and the parent hub that we have for Wren's Nest, as well as our school website, are the first places to visit to get any up-to-date information. As you've heard me say before, please pass on any of this key information to anyone you know who doesn't have access to Parent Hub or the school website and pass on this information that can be crucial sometimes um, in giving parents up to date information. So if you are connected, please pass it on. Here are some of the key contact details for you in terms of how you can contact us as a school. We have two mobile telephones um, that are manned um, every day by our family support work, uh, working team. Um, that's available to you. We've got our main school telephone line and also also our email address. This is in addition to our year group email addresses. If you have got any questions, you want to let us know that your child's not in school um, because they're poorly, um, please telephone us or drop us a message um, to let us know why not. Um, any way you want to contact us, this is the way to do it um, and we're here to help. The door is always open for you. We really do value our families and all that they bring to Wren's Nest. However big or small your question, the door will always be open and we're always here for you. Take care.